Back in 2018, I actually done the job evaluation and they put us up at the uh, top of grade five. We knew then that we should have been in grade six. So we had built that decision. And the officer representing Cobham City Council, Andrew Walstad, recognised after that appeal that actually it should be a grade six. They told us to come back in two years' time. Then the pandemic started, so obviously we wouldn't disrupt anything then. After the pandemic, we went back and Andrew Walster turned around and says, no, if you don't like it, ballot your members. The words that were used from the management team is don't worry about that lot, they couldn't pull a rope, let alone stick together. We then balloted for industrial action, that came back at 98.5%. We start off at £11.39 per hour and the top of that grade, after 11 years, you'll be on £14.39. If they were to pay us £16 an hour, it would end this dispute. They've claimed that we've got drivers here on £52,000, well one driver. What we can say is, that individual is not employed here as an HGV driver. That individual works in an area of highways. That individual works seven days a week, not as an HGV driver, but as part of a gang that works on the road. You wouldn't be able to do it in our grade. You would have to work 77 hours a week, 12 months of the year, with no holidays. Three years ago, Consider Council bought a company, their biggest competitor in Coventry, and so a company called Tom Weiss. They paid between 14 and 16 million pounds at the time. And the directors of that company are employed by Com City Council. That company is being used to break this strike. Coventry City Council, in its determination to break our strike, is now paying Tom Weiss, paying his drivers between 18 and 26 pounds an hour. They've spent over three million pounds at this moment in time. To actually resolve the dispute would be less than 300,000 pounds. Can you imagine what they could have done with that three million pounds? They could have gone into the child services where they're struggling and failing, okay? They could have employed more social workers where they're struggling and failing again. It doesn't even cost three million pounds to run the waste service, and that's with like 40 odd vehicles, over 160 people working, and the management team. I am not surprised that this Labour Council has done that. Look at the disgrace that we've got now as a leader, Keir Starmer. On the funding, I don't think a, an industrial dispute in Coventry should influence relations between the Labour Party and its trade union. I'm a proud Coventarian. I was born in this city, born and bred here. How dare that man laugh and snigger at our city when it's mentioned to him? There's a real determination from this Labour-led council to actually keep wages down because giving the drivers a pay rise will then open the floodgates for all the other people that are on grade fours, grade threes and grade twos who are actually on appalling wages. With inflation now at 7%, our members right across the local authority receive a pay rise that's equivalent to 1.75%. While they're keeping our wages down, these greedy fat cats have got their nose in the trough and are filling their pockets with their taxpayers' money. How come the top 20 people here at work at Compton City Council are on almost £3 million wages. We had a director here called Martin Yardley. When he left, he was given a package of over £500,000. We're skilled. This job that we do is one of the hardest jobs of driving anywhere in the country. And we spend most of our day going backwards. When you've got reverse into little closes, you're looking out for pedestrians, you're looking out for your carriers, you're looking out for other vehicles trying to get past you when you're reversing. It's mentally challenging. You've got to be on the ball all day long. And they don't value us. And it's only now they've got agency drivers in that are having accidents all the time, writing cars off, bumping lorries in the yard. They might start to realise the workers they've got are bloody good lads and pay them what they're bloody worth. They've also took a disciplinary action and a suspension against our well, deputy convener, Pete Randall, who was involved in the negotiation. He's done nothing wrong. Jumped up charges, no evidence. They thought by uh, suspending him, it was going to break, break the strike and have us back at work. The only thing that they've done is make us stronger. Until he is reinstated, there'll be no negotiations. We will stay out here as long as it takes. While we were going through that pandemic, councils rubbing their hands together saying what great people we were and taking the credit for the work that we were doing. 
These very same councillors now, who are Unite members, won't even support Unite members who are out on strike looking for a decent pay rise. When we were out there, we had people uh, actually coming out onto, like they clapping the nurses. They were lying in the street and they were clapping us, you know, and they were saying, well done, and that. And that's, you know, the people out there. But our, our, what's shocking, our own gaffers have never even come up. Not even our own managing director has come up to us and said thank you. We couldn't book holidays because uh, there wasn't enough staff to keep the job covered. So they said we could carry holidays over. Now we're on strike, lo and behold. They're taking the holidays that we've already accrued off us, apparently, not letting us have holidays to carry over. But the more that they do things like that to us, and the more that they tell lies about us, just makes us lads a hell of a lot stronger. Due to the fact that they don't want to re-engage with us, We've now rebalanced for industrial action, and again, that came back at a fantastic uh, 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 high number. We will be here as long as it takes, all through the summer, all through the winter if we have to. We are not going nowhere. They won't break us by using They're not going to break us. The support we've had from other unions and from across the country, we've had messages from America, and it really does G you up when you're on this line, because it can be a lonely place, it really can, but the support, we've had money support, people have sent us donations, we can't do it without that and it's really brilliant, we've really been great people behind us. There's other people watching us to see how we get on that are ready to strike. I just want to send a message to them. Never feel ashamed to stand on a picket line. Coventry will stand shoulder to shoulder all the way through. We'll support them like they have supported us all the way through this. Keir Starmer says that Labour's under new management. Well, guess what? So's Unite, OK? We've got a general secretary here that is keen to fight for her members. We're under new management and we're coming for you. I now speak directly, absolutely directly, to the Unite Labour councillors in Coventry. Because today, I am going to put you on notice. You are going to receive today, through the post and via email, your suspension from Unite. Yeah! You will no longer be able to hold office in Unite or in any part of our structures until we investigate your behaviour. And rest assured, you will not be getting your hands on any of Unite's money for your elections yeah! in May. Sure.